just like native apps, let's start lo with having a look at a few examples of web apps. So of course we are all familiar with mobile browsing. This is the most trivial use of the browser and I'm sure you have, seen, you have all seen mobile optimized websites such as those operated by Google, Wikipedia. These websites recognize when they are being contacted by a smartphone for example and they, they serve up HTML pages that have been designed to provide a comfortable touch experience on a small screen size. So they automatically based on your device type they render a version which is most suitable for your device size and they present that particular mobile page. Some companies have created a mobile website that looks somewhat like a native app. One interesting example of this approach is that of an application developed by Dremel, that's a hardware tools manufacturer, which have created a mobile version of their product catalog. What I found especially interesting here is that in conjunction with the site itself, they created QR code which allows navigation to a specific product from a printed app. So the user will scan the QR code with a QR reader application using the phone's camera. Application will detect the QR code and will redirect it to the right place within the online catalog. If you see the look and feel, look and feel is exactly similar to what a native app is but it's not a native app. Now there are companies who don't stop at just making the site look like an application. Take Google for example. The YouTube web application which not only looks very similar to their native application but it provides very similar functionality and it even prompts you to sort of install it on your phone by adding it onto your home screen when you visit the site. Now as you can see in this iPhone screenshot, the installation creates a shortcut which is indistinguishable from those used to launch native apps. When the user taps the shortcut, the YouTube web app is launched. So the user experience, from a user experience perspective, there is no difference between a web app and a native app. And then, the, and then here is a small web app, this is written by an Australian developer that takes things even further. This is a small touch sketchpad written entirely in HTML5 and JavaScript. When you slide your finger on the screen, a pencil appears like in the, if you see on the right hand side, 2B web app. And you can draw on the pad with wavy lines and everything. This is a great demonstration of the power of HTML5. What more this app uses an HTML5 feature which enables it to run when the phone is in the offline mode and it is not connected to web server at all. Again using an HTML5 feature and it saves your drawing locally on the mobile device. Another nice thing about this application is that on iPhone it uses a feature of the browser that lets installed web application remove the browser Chrome in a portrait mode so that the user can't really tell it is running inside a browser. So if you see on that screenshot it's full screen, it's not even running, user have no means of knowing that it's running inside a web browser. So these four examples of browser based pages can really help us understand the wide spectrum of offerings available on the mobile web today. On one extreme we have what I would like to call pure mobile web apps which are written entirely in HTML, CSS and JavaScript and the key difference is that they are served from a web server but are almost indistinguishable to the user from native apps. They are installed on the home page, launched like native apps, they have an interactive user interface which is highly optimized for touch screens and while data is retrieved from the servers using Ajax, the logic for rendering the user interface resides entirely on the mobile device, which means that it can be very responsive, doesn't require long waits for a response from the web server, and because the server doesn't render the UI, the application can have an offline mode allowing it to function without network connectivity. 
Now on the other extreme, what we have is what we might call as pure mobile websites. The user visits them by typing a URL in a browser and they have a navigational UI which means that the visitors mostly navigate between pages that display static data. Pages have a generic look and feel so that they look like web pages. Logic for rendering these pages is executed on the server for example using PHP, JSP or Python which means that the user usually waits for the pages to be retrieved from the network and which also means that any interactive functionality requires network connectivity and doesn't really work when the phone is in offline mode. So you, this, so you see the spectrum of options available within web apps. On one side, we have so much proximity to native app that it is almost indistinguishable. On the other side, it's bringing the internet to the mobile. Along with those two extremes, we have a very wide range of possibilities with many, with most websites actually making use of their own mix of app features in a way that puts somewhere in between pure mobile web apps and pure mobile websites. So as you can see, mobile web apps are a very promising trend and to help developers create the client-side user 